Hey, what's going on everyone? So here we go once again. Uh, we have a vehicle here that we have to uh, paint. Basically what we're doing here, we're just trying to get it prepped here uh, for the, the base coat. Um, as you can see here, all this area here was pitted and uh, basically it's been uh, prepped. Now we're just basically priming it, getting it to that stage where we have to put the base coat. Uh, once we do that, then we're gonna put a clear coat. I'll show you how I'm gonna put the base coat on this one. I don't think I really have done this kind of project uh, for the channel here. And this is really the first time that I'm gonna do this to show you how I can actually apply the clear coat with the Fuji system um, on the hood. Uh, I was challenged to do this job and all because they, they were telling me that it could not be possible. And I'm gonna prove not only to them, but I'm gonna to prove to you guys that it can be done, um, that we can actually spray a hood in such, you know, like in this case, we're gonna be able to do it with a Fuji. And I have no problem doing it. I know it can be done. Um, I have painted a complete car before with a system. And so I, I know for sure I can do this project as well. Um, again, uh, we're just getting it to the, to the point where I have it ready to like just uh, start doing the base coat on it and then we're gonna do the clear coat on it. As you can see, I have, I'm still working on the priming on this area here. All this area was all pitted. It's been fixed already. Um, so you can see. Um, and uh, so basically is the hood that I'm gonna be working on, on this, on this car, but also Underneath the paper here, you see a little grill here. We're gonna be working on that grill as well. But we're gonna be doing that later on uh, as we carry on with this uh, prepping on this vehicle. So stay tuned. We're gonna start working, continue working on this one and uh, we'll show you uh, the process from the base coat up to the clear coat. Okay, so check this out. Okay, so here we have the uh, vehicle right now, all prepped, ready to uh, be sprayed. As you can see, I did some touch-ups here and there, uh, trying to like cover up with uh, with the primer there. Unfortunately, I ran out of white primer, so I had to go with gray primer. Um, ideally, it would have been it would have been better to have put uh, white primer, but it doesn't matter at this at this point now. Um, um, so this is what we have, and I want to show you out back here on this vehicle. I want to show you what I have in here customer also wanted me to do the corner panels so we're gonna be doing this as well uh, both sides as you can see and so I probably won't be showing you uh, this area as I'm, as I'm spraying it just because of the space that I have in here but um, but I'll be showing you how I'm gonna be spraying the hood which I believe this is the most uh, ideal section of the vehicle to show you since you know it's been requested. So let's get ready and uh, we're gonna be spraying this in a minute. Okay, so we're just gonna give it a quick pack rag here once again. Um, I'll find a little pack here on the surface. Then we're ready to go. Um, so yeah, basically, I just stuck right this uh, surface here. I went to the back already of the vehicle, and uh, like I told you, I have to do the water panels at the very back. Um, we're gonna be starting off from this section over, and then finish off on this end. Um, we're going to be doing this grill as well, section of the grill. Um, really, you know, the uh, the base coat, primer base coat, it doesn't really matter how you apply it. The main thing is the clear, how we apply the clear. Um, the clear, we want to make sure that we start off on one end and finish off on the other end. In other words, we're going to start off like this, mid-section, and then go back to this section and carry on where we left from uh, until we finish. So let's get started. So here we go guys, first coat that we're gonna put on this uh, hood. Let's see how it goes.
So we'll let it sit there for 10 minutes, guys, and then we'll come back at it again. Second coat. Second coat now. Okay, as you can see there, I had to overspray again on the area that I thought I needed more, but uh, that's basically all there there now. It's all covered now with a base coat. Uh, this one in particular is a tri-coat, so meaning we have to put the pearls on top of it. So we're gonna let it sit there for a little bit, 20 minutes maybe, and then we come back to it and spray the pearls on it. It's a beautiful color. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna spray the pearl on the surface of this hood and uh, see how it turns out. We'll let it sit there for about 10 minutes. I'll spray another coat and then we'll get on with the clear. Looking good. Okay guys, second coat. So now that we apply the uh, pearl on the surface now, uh, basically we're just gonna let it sit there for a few minutes, usually half an hour before we uh, spray the clear coat. I just wanted to uh, show you here guys, that every time I spray my base coats, uh, in this case, the pearls, I always use 1.3 at the tip. Um, that's what I prefer to do. And when it comes to the clear, I always use 0.8, 0.8. Um, and it always works fine for me, guys. Um, in this case, I just wanna once again explain to you what I always do every time I spray uh, with my base. Obviously, you always used to use, you always have to have uh, to try, you know, try to see what your pattern looks like every time you spray. Uh, but what I do is I always leave my fan completely open, all the way open, and at the feet gun, like right there, at the fit, at the feet right there, I always turn it three quarters of a turn. And that's when I spray my first coat. When I go with my second coat, I always like to go full turn on it. So keep that in mind when spraying your base. 
this is how I do it. For you, it may work a different way. So, but this is the way I do it, and uh, it always turns out beautiful. And so, yeah, just thought I'd leave that, you know, and um, hopefully it will help someone out there. So, let us sit there for a bit, and we'll get on with the clear coat. Okay, guys, so now before I spray the clear, I wanna tack crack it once, one more time, just to be on the safe side. Um, we, wanna make, we don't wanna know that there is any dirt on the surface. Yeah, we just go over once again, slightly, trying to get, oh, I almost dropped this, if I had dropped it, that would have not been good, so, just to get whatever is on the surface, sometimes you get this little breeze here and there, and, you know, it just messes up your project, right, to make sure that it's free of dirt, and, um, so, again, I'm only doing this just to prove since I was challenged and I love challenge and um, I wanted to prove that it can be done that you can actually spray your clear coat on the hood with the Fuji system um, so I'm gonna get on it right now so I'm gonna go with the first coat and um, I hope uh, everything turns out you know the way it's supposed to be so here we go guys So first coat is on, and uh, it looks really good uh, with the first application. We're gonna let it sit there for about 10 minutes, then we'll come back again for the second coat. It's looking good. Okay, now we go for the second coat, guys. Here we go. So here's the end result guys, I want you to see how beautiful this project turned out. With the white obviously you cannot see, you know, the um, what we call imperfections in the paint because it, you know white kind of hides it really good. But in this case to be honest with you as I look close to it, I see that it turned out really nice. Look it's just like a uh, it's almost like we dipped it. That's basically what it looks like. Like if we just dipped the whole thing into, into clear. Turned out really nice. So I'm gonna put it together once it's dry and then I'm gonna show it to you guys once it's outside in the sun. Let me show you also the back. Let you see what it looks like. What back here. I want you to see the job on this end. Again, turned out really nice. This, by the way, is a Toyota RAV4. 
really nice. So again, I'll we'll let for it, you know, we'll let for it dry. Once it dries, then um, I'll take everything off and then I'll put it together and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's all put together. It's looking good, guys. So here's the end result, guys. I want you to see this. Look at the beautiful pearls on it. The match is perfect on this paint. Turned out really nice. And this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to expose it to the sun for you guys to see right there. Look at those nice pearls. Beautiful. So yeah, there you have it guys. Um, for those that were wondering whether you could do this job, the job can be done guys with this Fuji system that we have, the Minimite. That's what I have, Minimite 5. Um, it's an amazing system guys um it really does the job gets the job done you know if you if you don't have a booth you know you can still do this even at a tent you know look at the tent that i have this is what i have and i get minimal dirt on it i put a fan blowing in which is that one that blows air into the into the tent and i have that big guy right there which is um uh, I don't know what size this is, but it's a, it's a good size fan that I have an exhaust that just goes out. I put a filter on it. And um, so, yeah, I mean, even with a tent like this, guys, you know, you can get a job like this, a beautiful finish on this. Um, so don't hesitate doing this kind of work, guys. Uh, you guys can do this. I want to show you here out the back also. Um, you know, you barely get to see uh, the pearls on this one, but uh, they're there. Nevertheless, they're there. Um, again, it's a, it's a wonderful thing that you can do this, guys, uh, with this system. So there you have it, guys. Um, we get the job done, uh, like I told you. Um, it can be done with this system that I have. Um, so don't... Uh, don't shy away from stuff like this, guys. Um, you know, the job can be done with this system that came up, you know, Fuji Minimite. Uh, by the way, I did use, I think I told you, uh, it's a 0.8 on, at the tip uh, that I used to spray the clear. Uh, apply the clear, you know, two turns on the knob, and if you want more, pues, you know, by all means, just add more to it. But for me, that's how it works. You know, uh, 0.8 and two turns, at the feet and that's how it works for me so hope you learn something guys uh hope you like it you know like on the channel there subscribe and uh, pass it on help others as well um you know hope you learn something here so till next time we'll see what comes up again and now we'll put it up on the channel again so we'll talk later take care